Hi, this is Sumax OMS 3200R2 with a lot of new functions with automatic uh, motorized zoom with floor sand lightning and so on. I'm just show you a few functions. You have the brake on the bottom here so you can move this microscope and when you let the button go it will stop and fix. Actually on this OMS 3200R2 the buttons on both sides are the same. So basically here you have the photo or camera activation if you have an integrated camera you push the button short you take a photo you push it long you start the video you push long again again you switch off the video you can activate or deactivate the light here you have the magnification here up or down so if i go up i will increase the magnification if i go back down i reduce the magnification Yeah, another thing which is new here with this uh, OMS 3200R2 is the motorized automatic focus. So basically, I took, if you look on the screen here, I took uh, the image out of focus and I will just press this button here one time short and the microscope will automatically bring the image into focus. The activation of the magnetic brake is always on the bottom of each side of the grip. So if I push the button here, I lose the magnetic brake. And if I let the button go, the microscope is fixed again. You have the manual focus here. So you can see this button here. I show you on the screen. So basically this is the screen. And now I use this button to create the focus. This model comes with the optional fluorescent light for diagnostics. You will activate the light here on the side of the microscope with the switch here, which I will pull out. Here's the screen. I pull out the switch and we activate the fluorescent light for better diagnostics of the carriers, for example. I would like to show you the anti-reflect module. Very nice to see with the keys, like dental instruments, a lot of reflection. Here's a normal light, but here's a switch on the side of the microscope where you can actually, with this switch, I will activate the anti-reflect model. And I'll show you the effect on the screen here. It takes three to five seconds to activate and you significantly reduce reflection. So here's actually the laser filter. Basically, you take out this rubber cup and then you can fill, put a laser filter in here. Of course, we must define which laser filter to have the right wavelength for the laser filter. It can be diode, ABM, Airbeam, Yak, or other lasers. We have four or five different types of laser filters that you can use with this microscope. The screen can be very convenient if you have more than one user because you can preset microscope actually you can take the values note them and the assistant can adjust the values for example if a dentist would like to have a certain brightness you can adjust the brightness here with minus or plus here we are at 50 percent for example i now increase the brightness a little bit and let's say this dentist always wants to have 80 percent and you can reset this before the dentist even starts to work certain models uh, can be equipped with an additional light this is here this part here it's been activated here in the back. I will show you the effect on the model. I'm not sure how good we can see that in the video. But anyway, I'll activate the light. Maybe you see the brightness is increasing. This is the foot switch for the 3200R2 with a Bluetooth wireless control.